We want first of all to thank the Almighty, our Creator, who gave them abundant life and protection to manage to serve their country diligently. Because without, without him, maybe today we would have gone home in a coffin. But we need to thank him that you are going home on your legs and driving. <laughs> Many have not made it, but at least for you today, you are seeing yourself going home with your two legs. I want also to thank our Commander-in-Chief, the President of the Republic, who has managed to keep us from the time we were children. Because I see here a number of my intact mates are here, the Mwasas, many are here, the, the Bamanyas. But by, time, by that time we were at 19, 20 years. But now we are grandparents. So, but all because we had a, a good father who took care, us, take, took, took care of us as a parent, nurtured us, and kept us well. So we thank him and we wish him all the best. I want to thank you, our dear uh, comrades who are retiring today, for the great job you have done for our country. You never join the army to look for money. At least I know this intake, this group. You never joined the army as a job. You joined it as a calling. Today, most of the people join the army as a job, and that's where we are getting it wrong. Because the army has never been a job. It is a service to the people. It's a sacrifice. You did your best. Sacrifice yourself, time, and everything. For years, tens, others have served for 40 years, 35, earning nothing, earning nothing, sleeping nowhere, under trees. Just like that. But for the sake of our country, you committed yourselves to serve this country. There is nothing much we can give back to you other than saying thank you very much. Thank you very much. It is a joy and a dream of every officer and militant to retire honorably. Today what we are witnessing is a great thing. And some of us really envy the state you are in now, retiring honorably. Others retire through, the, through prison. Others retire through the coffin. But here we are, people today witnessing, the whole press is here witnessing you living honorably. We thank the Almighty for that. And we thank you for all that you have done for this great country, Uganda. As you go back home, go and serve yourselves. You have served the country enough. It is time for you to prepare to serve yourself. If you still have the energy. 
Don't waste that energy for any other thing. Waste that energy to prepare yourself for the final destiny. And that final destiny is the grave. There is nothing more than that. You now have time to go and prepare how to leave those who are supposed to stay behind and leave them well. Your children, your great-grandchildren, your wife, and so forth. Because normally men go fast. Normally men go fast and leave the women. And we, we need to prepare for these women. That when we leave, we will stay in peace and happiness. They should bless us as we go back to where we came from. Not to curse us when we are leaving. You have the opportunity to do that now. To prepare your family to bless you when you are leaving this world. By making sure that they have decent accommodation. They have what to give them a daily income. Give them what can enable them to go to for Medicare. Because those are the most important things. It's about accommodation, shelter, Medicare. And a day and something on the on the table. That's what you need to prepare now for your family, for those who are who remain behind when you are gone. Because that is a must. Don't go and waste your time for other things. There are many Ugandans to do. What is, what is remaining? You cannot finish it. Not even us can finish it. Those who are still have the energy should do it. But as you do that, you should also prepare yourself to live. As you prepare for those who are staying behind, you need also to prepare for yourself as you live. And that is to prepare yourself spiritually. Because when you live here, when you leave this world, there's another world which scientists don't believe in. They believe in evolution. For me, I believe in creation. And creation is real. We talk about evolution, what evolved from what? And who evolved that one? Creation is real, and uh, that other life is real. And you, there's nobody who's going to prepare yourself for it. For it is you to prepare yourself for it. Because it will catch up with all of us. And each one of us will have to answer. Will have to account. Alone. So prepare your family. Who are supposed to remain behind. And also prepare yourself for the final journey. Very important. I know Bamanya knows this. I know our canon there from the parliament knows all this. I know most of you know this. It is real. During the, our service, we might have stepped on many, many peoples. People, maybe you have done so many things. It is time to reflect and repent. Ask for forgiveness. So that as you leave tomorrow, you find that you have set free those who may, you may have uh, not forgiven. And forgive those also who really did bad to you. In this job, we normally hit one another here and there. And uh, at times we get annoyed because this one did this one. And you don't forgive. There is nothing good like forgiving because it sets you free. You become very happy. If you don't forgive, it is you suffering. And you will suffer forever. And nobody will listen to you. So it is a time for you to reflect, prepare yourselves for that final journey. For it is real and very serious. And when you see how the world is today, what is happening all around the world, you don't know what happens at any time of the day or night. Very, very important. So we thank you for your job, what your contribution. And please, 
go back there and represent us well. Because we are also coming. We are coming. Nobody is remaining here. This whole table, you see, this whole stand, everybody. We are coming there because that is the final destination. This is just a transition. Being on this uniform is just a transition. But the real uniform is that one. I saw some people putting here, like the Mafabis, putting on a suit. That is the, the final uniform that we shall put on. So, since you, are, you have started there, you prepare a way for us, prepare rooms for us so that.